25 web design trends for 2021. First is neomorphism. It gained quite a bit of popularity in 2020, and it's going to be one of the design trends we see more often moving into 2021. It is a combination of different concepts, things like material design and skeuomorphism, and it allows you to give that sense of 3D dimensions when you're creating buttons and other elements. Our second design trend, which is becoming more and more popular, is this frosted glass look, which has its own name now, which is called glass morphism. It's had such a good reception because it's one of the coolest and easiest effects to implement and create. It's got this glassy look to it, and it works really well on different backgrounds, especially on dark themes, where it's adding this semi-transparent but blurry appearance to elements. It's only possible recently with the implementation of new CSS properties that allow us to do this kind of integration by using things like backdrop filter. Our next trend is hitting the like and subscribe button because it is the bare minimum of what you can do to really help me out when I'm making these videos. Our third item is a little bit different. We got to know dark theme and light theme back in 2020. And moving into the future, we have what we call comfortable colors. These aren't exactly a light or a dark theme, but something in between, where you're getting the best of both worlds. Really bright, loud fonts and colors might not work very well at nighttime, while very subtle ones might not work very well on mobile phones when people are outside. This is why designers and developers have to take more care into designing their color schemes into 2021. And this is where having comfortable colors, which is a blend of colors that work both at daytime and nighttime is such an important thing to do. Having soft color palettes where you can use good greens and blues and browns and pinks allow you to have a better blend of colors that work more naturally, doesn't matter what setting you're in. Our fourth trend is using colors to create 3D perspectives. 3D colors is essentially being able to implement your designs in such a way that the color gives that perspective. You might have noticed this in things like Apple's wallpapers, like Big Spur, where it shows with these cool blend of colors like it's sort of floating on the page, sort of like water or a wave. By implementing colors side by side and adding these gradients, you're able to suggest depth and shadow that otherwise wouldn't be able to. And this means that your designs might no longer be flat but actually almost lift off the page. Our fifth trend again takes the traditional and changes it to be a little bit more interesting. Conventionally, we've been using color schemes where we pick out a primary, maybe a secondary color, and we use this for a website. Moving into 2021, we're going to see this change a little bit because color schemes are being thrown out and we're going to be using color gradient schemes. This is because websites these days use a mix of different colors and being able to have a gradient for the background or your button is kind of trending. This is why providing a design with a diverse number of colors that are unique and engaging is so important. When it comes to colors, having hundreds of different shades is quite important to be able to create the kind of gradients that we want. This is why these kinds of schemes are getting more popular. This allows for more creativity and uncertainty. You can create different types of minimalism as well as seeing what other things are possible when we have more colors to choose from. Sixth is interactive 3D content on web pages. It's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. The web has come a long way, and while we're no longer using things like Adobe Flash, 3D is trending because it's captivating and engaging and exciting and fun for visitors. There are so many great tools out there now that allow you to create these 3D elements on the web. And this means that you can have 3D characters or food or shoes and you can make these pages a lot more engaging. Then you can add these interactive elements into the page so that the whole experience feels like it's a completely different thing than what we're used to with traditional websites. Still, we shouldn't forget how we got here, which brings us to our seventh item. And this design trend is material design. Yes, I know that it is a design trend from the past, but it is still a very useful one to know going into the future because it's gonna be prevalent on all sorts of websites. It also introduced concepts like usability and accessibility to make sure that the web is available for anyone who's using it. The eighth website design trend is considering low light and dark mode when creating websites for UI and UX. 
this is an important aspect because a lot of us are waking up early in the morning or maybe just off at night using our phones and our computers in low light situations. And having harsh white colors and harsh colors in general is not good for eye strain. And this is something that is quite important when you're using the computer for a long time. It's worth noting that these large providers like Spotify and Netflix and Steam have these dark designs which work really well. And if you're on a mobile device, you get these cool looking modern looks that save on battery life if you're on a phone or using an OLED screen. And it allows for highlighting certain elements a lot better. Like for example, you just wouldn't be able to use yellow on any website unless it's black. Ninth is a website trend that can be applied to more than just a website or an application, but everyday life too. It is minimalism. Minimalism isn't about quantity, it's about quality. In this current age, sometimes we get absorbed in just how much there is going on, whether it's in politics or whether it's in our day-to-day -day lives or even at work. And minimalism is about making everything a lot more simple so that you can keep your customers or your visitors on your website without feeling overwhelmed like there are too many choices. Good minimalism does things like hide navigation, keep user interfaces friendly, keep the navigation of white space available so that the focus is more on the content. It allows for not too many colors, but enough to make it enjoyable and using a mix and match of colors and transitions and shadows to make a good looking website. Some examples of good minimalism are things like Nike or Coexsoft and Camu as well. The 10th web design trend is hand-drawn content. This is where you add a bit of personality to the kind of stuff you're doing because they say a picture is worth a thousand words. So what is a hand drawing worth? Visuals obviously attract better than just simple text. And while a lot of websites these days feature photography or even stock photography, a lot of people are already used to that kind of content and we need something to be a little bit more interesting and unique. So hand-drawn content basically grabs attention for the users a lot more. Of course, graphics artists and designers will love doing something creative and inspiring. And usually these things can be turned into SVGs and even animated with things like anime.js. There's another 15 great design trends that you guys should check out as part of this video, but these were actually pulled from a great friend of mine called Theme Selection. He's compiled all of these in a nice article that you guys can check out if you're interested. There are design trends using things like chatbox and interactions, virtual reality, as well as micro interactions micro animations and lots lots more. I'm gonna link that in the description below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit like and subscribe otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.